NVIDIA ties up with Snowflake and pretty much everyone else. Is this just a big nothing burger or is this, you know, what, what's what's going on here, Dan? Yeah, you know what? Uh, it's a little bit of both. You know, I think NVIDIA continues to hug and wrap its arms around every major software player in the industry. This is just the next one. Pat, I have been from event. It's not just software. Software, it's hardware. It's They're partnering up with every major SI. You know, it's... Look, they're staking their claim. Good for yeah. them. But, you know, the uh, the tie-up with Snowflake, it's really all about where compute lies. And, you know, historically speaking, you know, data goes to compute. The long and short story about this partnership is it's about the compute uh, going to the data. And so as the volume of data continues to grow, uh, if you look at Snowflake's recent acquisitions, it's Streamlit, uh, Neva, um, you know, the ability to build applications. And by the way, Snowflake's doing a little more OLTP, a little more operationally focused as opposed to just analytic focused. Um, you're kind of seeing this whole industry shift. We saw last week, Pat, when we were at MongoDB Local, how, you know, they're doing a little bit more analytical, you know, but they're not doing analytic, but, you know, you can do a little bit more of that there. Um, but of course, everybody's really focused on how do you bring, the, how do you optimize these applications? How do you make them flexible in the multi-cloud? How do you handle with streaming data? How do you keep that data secure um, in use, in motion, and at rest? And then, of course, uh, how do you optimize compute? Um, and so really what's happening is that, you know, the Snow Park is what they call it, container services, uh, is giving it the ability to run containerized applications on top of NVIDIA GPUs, all without moving any data outside of Snowflake. So basically, you can run the app and, and have the compute and the data all together without ever leaving uh, leaving the Snowflake uh, environment. So, Pat, it's it's provocative. It's thoughtful. It's smart. And, of course, it's a way to NVIDIA gets more lock in. And, and as it, it's a very simple it's a very simple uh, ratio of how many workloads, how much data Snowflake has that's being used and then how much NVIDIA is going to sell. So, you know, NVIDIA has built Nemo right into the right into the container platform. It's a pretty smart approach pat and i know we're kind of limited on time here so i'll just say it's not a nothing burger it's it's truly is the the <laughs> convergence of compute to the data but it is kind of like is there anybody that's not going to be locked in with nvidia by the time this thing is done everyone's going to be so busy chasing it's like wow by the time any of these others have their their platform it's going to be just it's going to be a big rapid game of catch up hopefully the dollars and cents and the huge margins will create a competitive battle. And of course, you never want to see margin sucked out, but maybe margin could be distributed a little bit more <laughs> along that supply chain. Because as far as I know right now in AI, there's only one company making a lot of money. This announcement irritates me so badly, I can't even tell Are you. you. Be okay. I mean, I'm going to be okay, but I might need to, you know, get, anybody have a paper bag I can bring into? So first off, Snowflake doesn't have any of their own infrastructure. Zero. They don't have their cloud. They don't have a freaking cloud. They don't have a data center. They sit on top of AWS, Azure, GCP, and more. So it's 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 like a joke. It's like nobody talked about this. Okay. So um, anyways, it, it's like, do people not realize that? And and, and second of all, um, I think the only winner here is NVIDIA because Always. you have <laughs> you have them lock doubling down on Nemo, right? Which, which again, in, in NVIDIA's uh, vertical and horizontal integration play, it's huge, right? NVIDIA wants to get to the point where, hey, you might have some competitive hardware, but we've got you locked into the software framework, right? Yep. And you're not going to move, okay? They've done this in gaming, and Jensen's going to do this in the cloud. So, yeah, I think this is just a big nothing burger for for Snowflake. Uh, it it is yet another feather in the cap for Nvidia. And yeah, Jensen was on stage, but you know it was local. Okay, um, Jensen didn't. You know, he had to drive down the street uh, to get there. And you know, Snowflake is. Every three to five years, a new data thing comes along and everybody jumps on it. Snowflake happens to be, you know, the merry-go-round, the the circus ride 
that everybody Labor of the week. Is, uh, is, Labor of the week. It's, it is. It's, and you know what? There's going to be another one in three years. And well, there's you still know, uh, companies like Cloudera and Teradata that are managing exponentially more data than, than and for a more well designed for hybrid than. Snowflake does not have an on prem play. Black and white, they're a public cloud play. They do what they do well. They're using their run up in valuation to go buy companies to become, you know, someday a bigger company, but they don't do hybrid. So good luck with that strategy moving forward. Uh, like we have seen with all the public clouds, there's still room, but it's not an ending. 